imagine a city so wickedly evil. It has the most debased morals, the most sinful entertainment you can think of, and even has rampant witchcraft. What would you do to change it? Change a law or two, maybe elect a different official, just leave? But the city I'm talking about isn't San Francisco, it's Ephesus. The Apostle Paul wrote the book of Ephesians to the church at Ephesus. Ephesus was a hub for idol worship. People from the region would travel in just to worship at the Temple of Diana. Witchcraft was so common that everyone owned spell books, and the immoral entertainment of the day included things like watching humans be devoured by animals. Or you could visit any number of the city's brothels. What did Paul do to change things? He didn't change the laws or start a political campaign. He simply preached the gospel and started churches. This one act changed the city completely. As a matter of fact, idol worship decreased so greatly it changed the economy. The church people got together and they burned all their witchcraft spell books. As a matter of fact, we read in Acts 19 that because of this Ephesian revival, that the gospel spread and was known all throughout Asia. All because the gospel was preached and churches were started. Now, imagine the city of San Francisco. According to recent research, the Bay Area is the least church area in our nation, with over 60% of people not attending church. According to a lot of American Christians, San Francisco is the hub of all immoral activity. Now, we can just sit back and complain about this, but we could do something to change it. Christians, we're not called to run from the darkness, but to confront the darkness with the light of Jesus Christ. Romans 12, 21 says, Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. So, how will we change this city? Simple. We preach the gospel and we start churches. That's right, I said churches, plural. When I was living in Hawaii, I worked on staff at a church that had a long heritage in the island. The church's name was Ko'olau Baptist Church. One day I walked into the offices of the church building there and I saw this painting. It was a painting of a tree. On the trunk of the tree was painted in Ko'olau Baptist Church. As you followed upward on the trunk, it started to bud forth and the branches started splitting off in all different kinds of directions. And on each one of the branches was the name of a different church there in the island. The Ko'olau had influenced or helped start all these different churches in some way. See, from one church came many. We see this in the New Testament as well. Churches started other churches. The church in Antioch sent out Paul, and Paul was responsible for starting many other churches, like the one in Ephesus. And Ephesus spread the gospel all throughout Asia which was probably the start of the churches of Colossae, Laodicea, and Hierapolis. You see, from one church came many. We've chosen to call our ministry Branches for that reason. Not only as it says in John chapter 15 that Jesus is divine and we are the branches sent to bear him fruit, but also because we want to start a church that branches out to start many other churches here in the Bay Area. By God's grace, we can see the hurting, lost, broken people of the Bay Area come to know Jesus as their Savior. My name is Jake, and this is my wife Haley and our son Tacoa, and we are the Woodface, starting churches in the San Francisco Bay Area of California. Together, we can see the Bay Area changed with the gospel of Jesus Christ.